What is going on guys? You got Retro Lizard here coming at you with our PC mod. This is our custom splash screen for our big box build that is officially loading up right now. Uh, the big box will automatically load when your PC turns on. That's the way that we have it set. And we can use any kind of splash screen that you want to use too. It doesn't matter how long it is. Uh, you can hit a button on the keyboard and it will automatically cut it out, which we will do in a second. Uh, originally, we did have the LCD marquee going on up here, but that was creating issues with the light gun games. Problem is, is that the light LCD marquee is being used as a second monitor for the marquee, and the gun kept on going off screen. So here's what we got. So we have... 10,900 games on this right now with two terabytes running with a GTX 1650. We're going to be offering another option uh, for the PC that will have a lower GPU, a GTX 1030, in case you don't want to run games like Techno Parrot. The GTX 1630 that runs a Techno Parrot emulator is $180. So that is a very expensive GPU. Not everybody can afford it. I completely understand. That's why I'm going to have two options going on with prices. Prices will be labeled later on uh, in a separate post. For now, we're just going to do the video. So, as you can see, games are down here in the bottom corner. As soon as it refocuses, I'm sorry, there are 1,369 arcade games on here. Uh, this build will look a lot like... Uh, the Pi builds, except it has a lot more games on it, about 1,900 more. And it also has different emulators on it that can run better games that the Pi's cannot. So we have the arcade games, your standard Capcom collections going on over here. We have the Atari systems. This has the Jaguar on it. The Pi does not emulate the Jaguar. We got the Lynx, Final Burn Alpha. We have light gun games on here too. We have about 60 light gun games, I think it is. 49 light gun games. And that's another reason why we don't have the LCD marquee, like I said earlier. So these were the light gun games that I hand picked and put on here. Uh, my Pi 3 mod comes with 67 light gun games. Not all the games work on it. Some of them are choppy. They just run a lot more smooth on here. Um, we got the Mega Drives. We have a Mortal Kombat category with every Mortal Kombat on here. PC Engine, PCFX, TurboGrafx-16, TurboGrafx CD. Let's turn the light on. Maybe that'll help with this. There we go. Maybe that'll help a little bit better. That helps you the screen. Sorry about all that. Uh, we have the Nintendo 64. We have 306 Nintendo 64 games on here. That includes the 296 North American games and also uh, the games that were also from uh, Japan too. We have the Nintendo Entertainment System on here, full library, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Nintendo GameCube. There are 96 games maybe? 93 Nintendo GameCube games on here. We have everything from Super Smash Brothers to Super Mario, Super Mario um, Tennis, Star Wars, uh, Bounty Hunter, so much stuff on here too. Um, let's go back. We have the Nintendo Homebrews, Virtual Boy, the Nintendo Wii. The only Nintendo Wii game we put on here was the House of Dead 2 and 3 for the arcade versions. Dead Space also was on here too, but you need the nunchuck to work it. Uh, we will be working on adding other Wii games, most likely at request, but also to see if we can run anything else like Guitar Hero. We have the Wii U on here, but the Wii U emulator is very choppy with the games. Uh, the games run okay, even with the GTX 1650, everything is just a little choppy. I don't understand why, so I'm pretty sure it's just the emulator. I'm most likely going to end up pulling off the Wii U game, so those won't be included. There's only 16 games anyways, so you're not losing out on much there. We made a Pac-Man category. Pinball. We have 400 pinball games for those pinball people that love them. Racing games. I made a racing category because I'm going to be doing a racing mod soon too. We have 594 racing games and that all those games will be on 
the racing mod. I have to individually pull them off. We got the Atomus Wave, the 32X, the Sega CD, which there are more Sega CD games on here than we have on the Pi. On this build, we have 150 Sega CD games. Also, the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast is on here, which doesn't come on our Pi 3 build. It comes on the Pi 4, but we have 285 Dreamcast games on here. Game Gear games, Sega Genesis, Sega Homebrew, Master System, the Model 2 emulator, which has Daytona USA, The House of Dead, Sega Rally, Virtual Cop 2. Model 3 emulator, which has your Star Wars Arcade, your Lost World, Jurassic Park, um, lots of racing games, Ski Champ, Virtual Fighter, Virtual Strike, Sega Saturn, oh man, this is part of my, this is the favorite part of my build right here, man. We have 285 Sega Saturn games, that's including the Panzer Dragoons. We got Panzer Dragoon Saga, Panzer Dragoon 2, Panzer Dragoon, and we also have Shining Force 3 on here too. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the entire Sega Saturn library that's on here. It's a huge build, takes up a lot of rooms. The SG-1000, the Neo Geo system, Sony PlayStation, 792 Sony PlayStation games. PlayStation 2, we don't have that many on here. We have a handful, just enough to get us through. Tekken 5's on here, and we also have Star Wars, Star Fighter 2, which goes into our Star Wars category. Uh, PSP games, we have like 400? 396 PSP games. Star Wars, we have a Star Wars category. This is every Star Wars game that's on the system. There are a total of 47 Star Wars games and including Battle Pod. And we made a Street Fighter category, Super Mario category. For those Super Mario fans, we got 72 Super Mario games that run. Super Nintendo, Super Graphics, Techno Parrot, Vetrix, and the 3DO system. Uh, the Apple Mac system, not sure what this is. What game is this? Gunbuster. All right, Techno Parrot. Everybody wants to know about Battle Pod, right? Everybody wants to know about Battle Pod. Here's the thing with Battle Pod. Battle Pod is fantastic, except Battle Pod has an issue running at full screen. Something I've recently come into. When I was testing this out and using it on my little flat screen TV in my office, it was full screen with the corner cut off. I put it on here, it's half screen. I did a 2K patch to get the full screen on it. It worked, I reset the computer, all of a sudden it don't work and I get an error. I don't know. There's another guy out there that's working on the patch. Hopefully he comes up with something, but let's do some gameplay so you can see what's up. We're gonna do this one-handed. The way Battle Pod works is you use this as your flight stick. takes a minute to load. There she goes. See how she's half screen? I'm not sure how to get a full screen again, but we do got a guy working on that, so hopefully he gets it going. We're using our joystick over here as a thruster. Slow down, speed up. Honestly, once you get into the game, I don't even really notice the bottom of it, but we still gotta figure out how to fix that. 
do a little bit of gameplay, and then we will go into another game. Exit a game, green button. That is your exit. So, we do have light gun games on here, like I said. Light gun game uses the Wii controller because we have the Wii light bar going on right there. We have the gun. Let's try Transformers. We're gonna stand up for this one. We're going to end up using this LCD marquee on our racing mod. That is going to be the next personal one and build that we got going on too. Transformers takes a minute. Notice how it says credits. Transformers does take coins. We're also offering and providing uh, a keyboard with all of our builds when the Techno Pair comes on this. And that will have the keyboard to load up the coins. And also a mouse. Where'd my mouse go? back into this little bit. It's giving me a hard time for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's still reading the second screen. So let's try that again. There's the mouse. Mouse has to be on the screen. Get out of that. Sorry, I'm pulling the chair back up. I'm doing this with my phone, so bear with me. This is going to be a little bit of a long video, too. All right, so we're back in here. So let's get out of here. Let's back up. Actually, no, wait, let's go back in. We have Batman. Batman the racing game. Again, we're going to use a 360 flight stick for that. The gas is going to be over here on the left. give you a little demonstration of it again this is going to be hard to do one-handed because the gas pedal is over here on this keyboard 
and then you have to drive with the flight stick. So we just gotta let her load up. Do, 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 do. This happens each time, absolutely normal. This is how the game loads. Maybe I gotta reset the controls again. All right, <laughs> that's embarrassing. All right, so let's back up. Uh, we have, uh, let's go to Star Wars. Star Wars the Arcade. Alright, let's back up. It is Model 3? Yeah, it's Model 3. Star Wars Trilogy. That's why I couldn't find it, because I was looking under Star Wars Arcade. Star Wars the Arcade. So there's tons of games on here so I have to probably go back and remap the Batman controls. Stay tuned for another video to check that out. Um, I mean all the, like I said, all the systems are in here. I'm not really sure what else to test out. This video is already 17 minutes long going on 18. Um, we just, we have everything on here. If there's something you're curious about feel free to send us a message. Uh, if you want to search for games, there you go. Let's go into PSP. If you're in the games and you want to search for something, you press left on your arcade stick and then it brings up the alphabet. So you press right, so you're on G, go into G, and bam, you're in G Force, Ghost Riders, Ghostbusters, G.I. Joe, there you go, all like that. So this is the PC mod. So the LCD marquee will be available on any mods that we do that does not have the light gun. Like I said, the light gun was going into the second screen, which is into this monitor. It was messing up the marquee, and it was completely messing up the light gun game, too. So, um, let's go into light gun games. I'll show you what we got. Oops. Oh, that'll be the last part of the video, too. I'll show you how to shut the system down, too. Where's the light gun games? Light gun games. We have your classics in here. We have Lost World, Line of Fire. Let's go. Let's go Island, Lethal Enforcers 1 and 2, Laser Ghost, Jurassic Park, which works perfectly on here. On the Pi 3 mods, it has a mind of its own on that, and it works when it wants to. Uh, we have Invasion, House of Dead 4, House of Dead 2, 3, House of Dead 1. Great guns. You know what? Let's do House of Dead. Let's give that one a shot. Keyboard. 
Some games will require the keyboard to hit enter on to play into it. That's another reason why we're given the keyboard. But once you're in, the light gun works the way that it should. A is your reload. And there you go. Get out, hit the green button, that's your aiming leader to get out. Or I'm sorry, that's your exit button on all of the games. It could also be used as a back button too. So we go back. Yo, you wanna shut the system down when you're in here, right? So you hit the green button, takes you to this menu here too, which is your big box menu items. Go down to shut down, and it shuts the computer down. That's how you turn it off. Super easy to turn it back on. We'll have, a, we'll have a switch installed here, which we're waiting for that to come in. You know, this is a mod. It's currently in progress. They had some more stuff. I wanted to get this in the machine and get this going. A couple bugs we got to work out still. But once we do, we'll get more videos up so you guys can check that out. Hope you guys enjoy.